Uh, what we're doing today is just ski day back here. Um, I've been going for a little bit, um, and I promise I will do more consistent reviews. Uh, just for an update, I have had a lot of transitions in life. Um, like work has been transitioning. I've been working pretty much seven days a week. So it's just been hard for me to find some time to actually do the reviews. Or I guess I've been a little bit lazy with them because you can always prioritize it. But um, yeah, I'm back. And look, I've still got so many things for you guys to review. I want to give a big shout out to Ari, Garage Momi, and my boy Brett. Um, because they're, they're the two like nicest reviewers you'll ever find on this fucking you know, YouTube kind of uh, world. They're two big dudes, two fucking tough dudes, but they're fucking very, very nice and very, they pay attention. You know, they'll be like, hey, what's going on? Like, how come you haven't been reviewing as much? So um, that was a bit of a kick in the butt and I figured, fuck it, I need to get that shit going again. Um, look, today I'm reviewing uh, Primeval Labs Mega Pre, uh, the Black Edition. This is one of those pre-workouts that I bought just because it was on sale. Um, I think it was Muscle and Strength had it for quite a cheap price. I haven't really been able to try too much of Primeval um, Labs, e even though I've always wanted to. Um, they seem to make some good products. They seem to make a variety of products. So I figured, fuck it, you know, let's just go straight for their Mega Pre. Um, you know, just the initial look of the label, it doesn't seem anything crazy, but fuck it, you never know. Alrighty. I'm going to first actually go with the taste, obviously. Um, it's rainbow candy. It's not bad. It's not good. It's the classic case of artificial tasting. It's not so bad that you can't handle it. It's not so good that you're going to be fucking telling your mates to down it because it's just the greatest fucking thing, you know, you've ever tried. It's not Pepsi Max. It's not, you know, fucking Ribena. It's not a, you know, juice or anything like that. It's just a basic tasting pre-workout. It's kind of exactly what I expected from them. Alrighty, let's look at the fucking panel for the supplement facts. You've got one scoop, two scoop. So 20, 40, the standard these days. Uh, we're obviously gonna go with two scoop, which is 18 grams. So decent actually serving. Um, you've got six grams of L-citrulline, obviously for your pumps, 3.2 beta alanine for that muscular endurance and the tingly feeling. It's really the tingling feeling that we kind of all want. Um, we can pretend that's not it, but yeah, it is. You got betaine and hydrus for that strength output, choline the titrate. Not my favorite, but you know, at least there's choline in there. Um, you got that at two grams. Caffeine and hydrous, 325 milligrams. So I would say slightly above average, but you know, nothing too crazy. You got dynamine at, how much is it? 300, uh, 260 uh, milligrams, which it's meant to kind of help increase energy and performance. I, I don't know how well it actually does. Who the fuck knows? You know, your guess is as good as mine. Pine bark extract that does help with uh, pump output. I've noticed a lot of just pump uh, type of ingredients or you know formulas will kind of add that in there. I like it from what I've seen. It actually does tend to work well for me. I don't know. I've never tried it as an individual ingredient. Like agmatine sulfate is one that I always preach about because I've tried agmatine sulfate by itself. And just that mixture with, to me, um, citrulline is enough half the time to just get a great pump. Um, then you got tear cream, which will assist with the caffeine. You got that at 150 milligrams. You got LFATP, which is another one of those that helps with energy. Um, I think it kind of helps with a lot of things. Uh, I think it helps a little bit with mental focus. How well, who knows? It's just I notice I tend to have decent focus when it's in there. You got decaffeine malate at 68 milligrams, which totals at up to 375 of total caffeine. And then you got hoopazine A. Uh, 1% standard at 100 micrograms. Always love herbazine, eh? Um, I just think it's one of those ingredients that if it's not on a pre-workout, I don't know why it wouldn't be. Um, you know, you look at this panel and it's, it's pretty well-rounded. You've got your pump elements. You've got your energy elements. You've got some nootropic. Um, nothing's over the top. It's not like a pure energy formula. It's not a pure pump formula. It's more just well-rounded, well-executed. Uh, that's the panel the results are a little bit interesting for me. So this hits a lot harder than the label says. Like, I'm not saying I struggle taking this, but this is a heart racer. Like this is a get shit done, get in the gym, take the two scoops. You're gonna go to work. Um, this isn't even something I would use as a daily driver, but when you read the ingredients, you're like, whoa, it's nothing too crazy. But fuck man, it's potent. It is potent. 
um, the energy levels are super high in this. Like if you love your energy pre-workouts, I mean, and you can get this on sale, this is a fucking winner for you. I'm not particularly into the high energy pre-workouts because for one, I tend to be an overly energetic person just to begin with. So I never really struggle or it's rare that I struggle going to the gym and, you know, needing something to really give me a lot of energy. The nootropic element is decent. It's not amazing. It's decent. And the pumps are pretty damn good. Like for a non-straightforward pump formula, you really get more than enough of the L-citrulline, the betaine, the pine bark extract, and the L of ATP. I, I just think like it really does everything decent. Um, it's a bit much for me because I'm always in the realm of like, I'll either take an atropic, a daily driver, you know, the smaller stim ones. Uh, that's what I regularly take if I work out. Or if I'm having a big session, I'll take something like DMAA or an Excelsior type. Um, this one kind of fits in that middle where you could take this three, four times a week. And for you, if you love that high energy burst and you can handle this, you could use this as a daily driver. I just can't use it as a daily driver. And it's not something I would use as like a one-off pre-workout either. So it's in this interesting middle ground of I don't know exactly what it is that I want from it. That doesn't mean it's not an awesome pre-workout. Like just because it doesn't suit necessarily me, I can see which niche this falls into. If you love your caffeine, if you are somebody who's low energy, good focus though, and you want decent pumps, this is fucking, you know, this is elite because you're not paying a crazy amount and it's so often on sale. You can't really go wrong with it. So it's hard to really go against the grain on this one. Um, another thing that I'll say about this is the energy lasts for a fair bit. This isn't something that like tapers off within 45 minutes or an hour. I felt this for a good two, two and a half hours. So if you're going to work right after this, brilliant. If you've got something else that you need to do that's high energy based, brilliant. Overall, I mean, I think this is a winner. It's not a winner for me. Doesn't mean it's not a winner for you. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I won't buy it again. But then again, it's like, I have fucking 50 plus of these pre-workouts and tropics, fat burners, etc. in my fucking cupboard. So unless something is such a standout that like I have to get it again, you know, I'm not going to buy it. Like I love preface KO. To me, it's one of the all-time great pre-workouts. I won't buy it again because when will I use it? That's, that's the reality of this. All right. Now, the second thing I wanted to get into is I will also be doing a weekly now update it might start either either tomorrow or the day after. Um, I bought Tekestrone um, and then I bought from Naturoids the Extreme. Now, the Tekestrone, I was lucky enough to get three bottles from Derek's website at More Place, More Dates. And this one I just got off Amazon. Um, they seem to have two of the better reviews. So fuck it. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, I'll give you like an early review on it. I think I've been on it for five, six days. Have I noticed any physical changes? No, but... I have noticed that my pumps are pretty fucking nasty just 24 seven. Like you're more vascular, um, you just feel more lean, but it doesn't necessarily even show. And when you do like any form of fucking, you know, I'm a little bit lower in body fat, so maybe that'll be the reason, but like my serratus have come out, my shoulders, this lighting is absolutely fucking awful. So you're not gonna see much, but with a pump, it's almost like it's an additive to let's just say pump formula or just the weights in itself. So I think that's awesome. Um, I will be doing yeah, a weekly update on that because I think if I just do one month, two month, there might be little components that I miss out or I forget about. At least this will keep me on track. Um, the way that I'll be taking it is one pill, which is 600 milligrams of um, the string in the morning with one Turk which is Derek's is 500 milligrams at a 10% extract. So, you know, 50 milligrams you get of pure um, tocosterone and then one and one at night. Um, it's a slightly higher dosage than most people do at the start, but that's just the way that I'm going to go about it. I've seen so many people do that and they seem to be fine. The other thing I did want to talk about is I think I'll be an interesting case to do this because if it does work on me, It'll be, it'll be because it actually works and it's not because I just made basic progress. Um, I do have a slight rotator cuff tear and I've got bursitis in both my shoulders. So currently I'm having to kind of do, you know, like very low reps. 
sorry, very high reps, super duper light. Like I'm not going to be really making crazy progress. Um, if it works for me with that type of setup, then I'm guessing it's fucking legit. Um, I've never really taken anything. Never taken a steroid, never taken a, you know, fucking whatever you want to call them, like peptides or anything like that. But I figured if I'm going to start anywhere, I would start with something, you know, more plant-based, more no PCT, no et cetera. Um, all right, that's my review. That's my update. Apologies to those that have probably wondered where the fuck I am. Life, life gets in the way. It's an excuse, but it's the best one I can give you. Um, yeah, look, I hope you enjoyed that review. I'll be back for more. Um, some of the coming up ones that I have is Zeus, um, which is an interesting one. I will admit that already straight away. Um, I've only used it twice, so I'll use it maybe tomorrow once more, see how that goes. And then I've got all of steel supplements. Like, I mean, literally everything from them, except for the protein powder, but that's because I don't really review protein powder. Um, and then, yeah, a, like a bunch of other shit as well to review. I've kind of fallen off track with it because I haven't had that consistency of reviews so I'll try to catch up more and more and more, okay? All right, hope you had a lovely day. Peace out, everyone.